situation with you and dirty sound records are you not still involved? Yeah, yeah man, they, they just put out Piff so the, le- the levels and the, the label and the link is it's all still massively high, you know what I mean? Mm. And we've just got plans to put out more singles with them and go into an album so it's not a, it's not a myth, the link's still there man, shout out Cage, Dizzy, Pads. Ray. So so this is done separately though, isn't it? No. Oh, oh King Original. Yeah. King Original is my is on my label, Brain Dead. It's on my label. Oh, I see. And it shows it, it's just there's just no like shackles is that like stank of fine. I, I had to run it past them mm. just to let them know obviously and then yeah man, they they like go and do whatever it's gonna enhance whatever we're doing, innit? Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Because anything I do with Stank, they've got a bigger vehicle. But I'm also using Stank as my blueprint to how an independent does it, do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. To become big. Because they wasn't big and they got there. So yeah man, I'm I'm on it. Okay, alright, so some off the record tracks. Um what did you think of Dizzy Rascal's album and the fact that like a lot of the tracks are not urban per se? His tracks stop he, urbanism is here nor there when you're at that level. It's like how many of Tiny Tempest tunes were urban. Mm. Uh, I don't know. It's only because he had that legendary boy in the corner album. No, it is. He's a spitter. He came out of the he came out of the scene as our best spitter. So that's why a lot of people are always onto him. But I, I thought the album was sick. He's 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 six years in at top flight. Mm. That's not a long time, bro. I mean, I mean, that's not a small time. That's a very long time. Six years in, top flight, maybe even more. Numerous singles, like he's not a new, fresh, like he's not some new, young, fresh-faced kid. Do you know what I mean? Looking a bit sharp and that. He's not, he's, he's Dizzy Rascal, he's been doing this thing for a minute. So, brother, anything he does for me is, is just a new step in and a new page in his journey, because his journey's long and vast, it's, it's not small. A lot of people weigh his journey up from He's three number ones, but before he's three number ones, like, I was supporting him on all of his shows. And before he'd done them number ones, his show was a lot harder in terms of depth, but it was still wider. Mm. It was still wider though, it was still making pop music mm. per se, but yeah, things like Sirens and that, it was a bit harder. After Dance With Me, that's when he opened, he done Dance With Me and I, I was that brought in like the kids, the pop kids onto his case, do you know what I mean? And he wasn't really, the pop kids weren't really onto him up until then. He was in the pop world, but that's when he got the kids on and then the other two singles after that, Holiday and Bonkers, Monsters, so... Oh, um, you can't... Watch him perform them tunes and think what you think after that. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's that's that's what I say to anyone who has who has anything to say about this. Come to his live show, see him perform his his journey, and then say something. It's it's mental, but you can't. Like a lot of guys ain't got the option to just do a. He could do just like a boy in the corner tour again, or just a one-off show where I'm only performing this tonight. A lot of artists ain't got that option. So it shows you what he means and what he's done, do you know what I mean? So yeah man, Dizzy for me, for me he can't put a foot wrong. That's my personal thing. Because mm. I know and understand my Donny like well. So 